I have finally risen from the depths of having the flu. Hello Equestrians, my name is Antea, I am the Community Manager of Covery Games and I am back. But before we continue, if you like horses and you like horse games, hit that subscribe button and give us a follow on TikTok and Instagram. So what are we currently working on? Many and multiple things and besides some customization options that are most wanted but are still in the very early stages of development so I cannot really say anything about it yet, we also have some other customization options that are further in the development process, the Avatar Remake to be precise, and this is something that has been requested a lot in the feedback and ideas form. Because sometimes you choose a look and after a while you feel like, for example, having a different hairstyle, or you might want to change your body type or gender, and these are all things that should be possible to do in the game, so we're adding that to a question in the game as well. This will be an in-game purchase, but, 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 we are giving all players a token for a free Avatar customization when we are launching this feature because we want everyone to be able to try it out. We also have something pretty cool coming up. We want to introduce the player card. This was a task assigned to a new programmer to get more familiar with the project so she can tackle more difficult tasks later on. This is something fun and you will eventually be able to find it in the office. So when you open this card you will have on the front side your username, how many horses you have, when you started playing, your top tier reached ever, a representation of your avatar and the horse by choice. You can manually pick a horse or you can pick any of the buttons to select one. There are buttons for tallest, smallest, highest potential and most trained. Some information about the horse will be displayed including up to 12 ribbons that horse has and you can customize the gradient behind the horse to any of the options available. Then when you flip it on the back side of the card you can see how much your estate is worth, how many buildings you have maxed out, how much e-cash you have, all of your medals from the previous season seasons and all of your medals from the current season. This is still a work in progress so if you have any ideas of things that would be fun to add or to improve the card let us know in the comments below. Do mind that these features are still being worked on so they will not come out with the upcoming season change. This is just an update on a few of the things we are currently working on. And just a small notice the end of the season competition entry form has officially opened and thus you can send in your entries. Send them all in. I am looking forward to seeing them all. The deadline for sending in your entries is June 4th at 5 p.m. Central European time and if you want more information or you want to find the form it is in the description of this video and do remember every category winner gets a hundred e-coins. All right that's it for today it is good to be back give our other videos a watch and have a wonderful week. Bye!